With the rise of early international flight, President Roosevelt strongly advocated for the creation of a high-end hotel brand tailored to welcome a new kind of clientele, the International Globetrotter. Pan Am was the partner of choice for this project. Once its airplanes had landed, travelers needed high-quality accommodation in line with the luxury of its modern jets. Intercontinental hotels quickly established a presence across five continents. And the Intercontinental Genève was inaugurated on January the 30th, 1964. From then on, the hotel's success developed at lightning speed, attracting a mix of tourists and business executives, as well as politicians and celebrities. One international star in particular held a unique position in the hotel's records. Sophia Loren spent a whole seven months at the Intercontinental Genève and on December the 29th, 1968, she gave birth to her son in Geneva. Besides the luxurious comfort and quality of service available in the hotel's rooms, suites, bar and restaurant, or at the swimming pool, the large capacity meeting rooms also proved very successful. So successful, in fact, that a series of major political meetings take place within the intercontinental Genève's walls, be it for the warmth of its welcome or its proximity to the United Nations. World leaders have regularly frequented this destination, and one can say without exaggeration that quite a few important pages of the world's history have been written at the intercontinental Genève. Today, the hotel boasts the same spirit of modernity, of design and comfort as on its opening day. Fine food, fine accommodation and world-class service await the hotel's guests, plus that little extra which is difficult to define. The beauty of the view over Lake Geneva and Mont Blanc. The extra mile our staff members regularly go to fulfill a guest's wish. The quality of our cuisine. The sheer opulence of the residences. It's a blend of all these and more, which keeps attracting guests, famous or not. Intercontinental Genève, making history, one guest at a time.